Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. This weekend we've got Formula E from Bern in Switzerland. Unfortunately that track's not available to us just yet. I know that the team that's been working on releasing the Formula E tracks on the Steam Workshop is currently working on it, uh, but it's not quite ready yet. So what I thought we'd do instead is run a half-length race around Michelouk. Uh, Le Max released version 1.3 of this circuit last week, and I believe that it's one of the most detailed tracks we've got in our Factor 2 right now. Plus, A1GP and Formula 3 have both run here in the past, so suited to open wheelers. There's a couple of really technical sections that <laughs> challenge the way this car wants to rotate. Um, as you can see, I ran a qualifier where I completely stuffed it up. So let's get this underway. It, it was raining during qualifying, so I don't know if... Um, if it, the track has dried off or not, um, as I'm running real weather, so let's see. If it is still wet, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare, I think. Okay, so the track is still wet. Just not sure if it's actually raining still or not. I guess we'll see when the weather kicks in. Just try and get it through that corner without binning it. Oh, oh. Okay, so this is where I stuffed up my qualifying lap. So typically I only run three laps of qualifying after I let the cars run about a 90 or so minute practice by themselves. Um, and I nearly put it into that tyre barrier. Uh, wrapped around that uh, speed sign on Michelin Bend there. <coughs> so here we go. Here we go. Off the straight. Into the corner and then into the first hairpin. Be a little bit cheeky there. And then into the second. And then onto the back straight. Let's give it the beans. Yep, it seems to be pretty dry here. Now, um, I'm running power at 225 kilowatts. Uh, during the qualifying and practice sessions, it was about 30, 31 degrees, and I was worried that the, uh, the car was going to overheat during the race, but I think it's cooled off a little bit. Um, but I didn't want to kind of cheat the system and smack it up to 250 kilowatts just because I run poorly during qualifying. Um, and these cars are pretty challenging at this, at this power. I've got them set to, uh, to 100 skill and 40 aggression. Um, so a little bit lower than, I guess it shows how well the AI line's been done here. A little bit less than some of the circuits that have been released um, in the workshop for Formula E. Um, kind of in line, this track's kind of in line with, um, with Monaco Ypres, so Running them about a hundred, still challenging, and they behave themselves too, which is good. Ooh. I think this is a hard corner, pretty much in any car. It's, it's very tight. The the angle, the camber of this corner here actually helps the cars turn, though, so it's not quite as bad as the other one. Okay, we're gaining. Yep, I don't think it'll be enough to draft and pass um, Van Duren there. So breaking at the 100 marker here, um, purely because it's so easy. Oh, I'm going to squeeze past. No, nope. side by side clean though. Oh, a little bit of a love tap there. Yeah, so with these cars, you can't really, um, I find that I can't really trail brake because you, you can't, you just can't go full um, maximum braking as you should in trail braking initially. The, the tyres just lock up no matter what because they're not slicks and they are narrow. It's almost like driving a, a bit more of a grown-up formula. V or the uh, or the skip barbers. Oh no, it's raining again. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Okay, 20 or so minutes of rain. This should be interesting in this car, especially at this circuit. Very detailed um, wet textures here and uh, puddle maps. So at least it'll look nice as they go spearing off into the trees. So, um, 
Michelin look itself. Uh, as I've said, it's run the uh, A1 GPs here in the past and the Formula 3s. Um, the lap record oh, was not concentrating. The lap record here in A1 GP for both qual and race um, was a 103. I think it was like a 103.2 or something and a 103.5 in race, which is absolutely insane. The, mo the best I've been able to do in the Formula E is a 121 high 121s, um, obviously not in the wet. Um, I would love, I wish that there was a, a, an A1GP available in R Factor 2 that was uh, up to date. I know that there was one released a long time ago um, and then was pulled due to uh, you know, kind of licensing legal issues. A1GP was obviously around at the time, it's not anymore. Um, and obviously it wasn't uh, DirectX 11 either. I'd love to have a crack at that that, that record. I think it's been insane trying to do that in, a, in an A1 GP. Now that the uh, 2019 Formula 3s are available, though, it might be um, might be fun to have a crack at the uh, the lap record for the Formula 3s, which is a 107. I think it's a 1075ish as well for race in those cars. I've left that braking mark a little bit too late. Yep. Oh. So as you can see, the surface is getting very slippery. It's gonna, I think this is going to turn into a Paris session in a minute. Concentration face on. This, this corner here is going to be a nightmare when it's the, the surface is fully wet up. It's, um, am I gaining? Yes, I am, just a little bit. You can hear and see from my wheel that uh, the extra track detail that the Max has put into it is really showing. This is the first time I've actually run a wet session here because I, I tend to always run the real weather plug-in, so it's kind of up to it what's happening around the world. So the first time I've run the uh, run into rain here. Probably the worst car <laughs> to have it happen. Um, so Michel um Lamax updated um, some of the road textures, um, tweaked some of them. I think there's probably a little bit of surface extra surface detail as well. Uh, it wasn't in the release notes but it feels it feels like there is compared to the last time I ran this. Now I can't remember if I ran it for 1.2 release or not. Um, definitely more feedback than there was as so I go sliding into the barrier again. Um, now some of the the curbs have been adjusted. Oh, oh wow. Some of the curves have been adjusted and um, pulled back a little bit from where they were. And also some of the um, barrels and barriers around the place have been uh, placed in the correct positions as well. This rain stops. How much damage have I got? Oh, a fair bit. That's um, that's not great. I've typically found in the past when I've run the um, the Formula E, if you get any front damage, it does start to really affect overheating. that doesn't happen here. Hopefully it's also cooling off as it's raining. It doesn't impact me. Big lock up there on the fronts. <laughs> it just wants to step out now. Actually, very surprising that the, the level of detail in this circuit, um, and I've still got—I actually forgot to uh, put my settings back to the way they typically are for recording. After I finish the uh, the Hockenheim preview video, and uh, everything's still on full detail, um, and even with the weather going, it's not—it's not really impacting performance here. I would have thought 
the level of texture detail and everything else that's going on on this circuit that the performance wouldn't be great with my settings currently but absolutely perfect I'm gaining, I'm gaining in the wet I thought the AI would absolutely destroy me here in the wet just got to be careful with this car just not to lock it I think that's the the biggest challenge even in the dry surface reflections are starting to become apparent too okay so it's stopped raining Let's see if the drawing line starts to happen a little bit. I just don't need a nudge from behind in this. <laughs> I think I might do a... Uh I like the circuit so much I was thinking I might do a, um, a cart video here as well because the cart track is, is free and uh, it's brilliant. Same level of quality. Oh. Oh, just sliding everywhere. Oh mate, it's really close in. I've lost some time as well. Come on, dry off. car is just sliding everywhere. Heart is just... Oh. <sighs> I've said it before, I think this is one of the most challenging modern cars to drive in a factor 2. Purely for the way it has to be driven because of its balance. It's tail heavy and tail happy. And the brakes are an absolute nightmare. I make it through 22 minutes of this without crashing. I'm not going to say I'm going to eat my hat. Okay, so we've got 10 minutes to go. Over halfway. I'm making up some ground. Hopefully this line's going to dry off. Total loss of steering input then. Can't see a thing through. Oh. Oh. I wish that had dry off. That's an absolute nightmare through there. made up a lot of ground, I think that all the AIs in front kind of stuffed up then. Really breaking early there. One, because of the surface, and two, because I cannot see. It's just sliding through every corner. Just a little bit of ground there. I don't want to move off the, uh, the AI's driving line as well. I mean, it's very similar to my line. I just don't want to move off it because obviously R Factor 2 does have a drying line, so. Oh, oh there you go. I've binned it. Didn't think it was going to 
it'd be possible not to have a, an accident here. There goes the helicopter. Okay, we are making up ground again. Don't want to get too close though. Obviously these braking issues now in the wet here. Super surprised at the performance, especially with all these, um, all the particle effects and everything else going on at the moment. The reflection. <laughs> Can't see a thing. I think all the cars are struggling on the brakes. cleaner there. I think I pulled out a little bit closer than um, I have been. Still not going to be enough for a pass though. Going to be in the uh, four tenths of a second before we break. that um, Studio 397 would uh, kind of capitalise on what they've done with this car already and the, the two circuits that they've got and just try and fill out, you know, at least some of the calendar. And they've got an opportunity now. These, these tracks aren't as long um, as a typical racetrack. They are all streets. Well, most of them are street circuits. You could produce these a lot quicker um, than a typical racing circuit. They're all around, you know, two and a bit kilometres long. You know, they're announcing the uh, provisional calendar for next year. It's a perfect opportunity for them to try and actually kind of corner a pretty cool growing market. I'm not sure what happened to the last lap with me. Okay, so it looks like the drawing line's kind of happening. So we're back under a second. Three and three minutes fifty left. Took the hairpin quite well then. Pretty close to these guys. I just don't seem to get as good a, a, an exit out of the second hairpin that they do. I'm not sure what happened with him then. And if he thought I was going to make a move and he went to block, or you know, let's see if I can actually get a run. If we can get him before this bridge, I've got a good chance. I'm off the drying line. I'm off the drying line. Oh. Oh. 
just caught that. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. He's going to try and make a pass there. Okay, don't bottle it. my under a second. Keep it together for the next couple of minutes. Bit of a lock up there. Now yeah, I'm sliding out a little bit. Not too bad, we've gone from 15th to 10th in wet conditions. I'd say very wet conditions. Best of 125.4, nowhere near qualifying and practice times. But again, the conditions weren't quite this bad. I'll leave a link to Mishluk for anyone that's interested. Oh. <sighs> I'll leave a link to Mishluk if anyone's interested. Um, and of course the Real Weather plugin, which has been just so nice to me today. Dried off a bit, but just not quite enough. Probably would have um, been a little bit better if the race was just slightly longer. I'll have to try a full length race in these cars one day. About 45 minutes plus a lap. Okay, 22 seconds. on this last couple of corners, don't want to bin it right here. Okay, so this is the last lap then. Look, Ben, for the last time. Yep, kind of bottled it towards the end there. I think I had an opportunity. If I hadn't, if I'd have realised there was one more lap to go after this, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on those last few corners of the last lap. Okay, so this should be us going across the line now. Yep, so 10th. Oh, I think that was pretty good considering. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.